bit about from the beginning of the game and maybe not being as sharp as you want and then keeping your head in there mentally and emotionally and being focused enough to, you know, complete some more plays as the game got older? Um, yeah, I, I think I just went in this game with just the, the main focus on just being poised no matter what was going to go on, you know, early in the game, late in the game. Just, I mean, I talked to some people and they just said be poised. And um, you know, I thought I was resilient like I have been and I thought I remained poised throughout the whole game. Who did you talk to? Um, talk to a sports psychologist. Um, talk to Father Jake. Um, talk to some other people. Kind of, what was the challenge there when you throw the pick to stay resilient? Who did you talk to right after that? Um, talk to my QB, <laughs> know each other QBs. Um, talk to some wideouts and O line, and pretty much a lot of my teammates. But um, you know, I, stupid play, probably shouldn't have thrown. It's a good play by um, the corner on that too. But um, you know, just got to put it behind you and move forward. Once you realize you're in a Michigan, Michigan State game and you're out there, does it start to get a little? more relaxed as the game goes on, you know, you get your footing and you take in the crowd and all that. Yeah, I think that just goes for every game you're playing and, you know, you, you have butterflies, like the first couple of snaps, and then you get, in a, get into a groove, and that's what I thought um, we did as an offense today. Connor, uh, you got three games left, <clears throat> obviously the bye week coming up, yeah. but you guys hold your own destiny. What is that situation like for you, knowing where you guys have come from to right now? Um, it just shows you the character um, that, ever, that we have as a whole team. I feel like you know we're really resilient on offense. You know our defense has set the tone all year, um, and if they continue to set the tone, and if our offense keeps building on our on our past performances, um, I think we'll run the table. But we just got to focus on um, one 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 week at a time, one team at a time, and uh, just focus on that. And I think we'll be good. How much of the of the defense do you actually get to watch when you're on the sideline? Is it all adjustments? Or are you able to stand back and watch what they're doing to Gardner and? And what kind of goes through your mind having gone up against those guys three years in practice? Um, I just watch on the uh, Jumbotron, and um, pretty much the only thing that I saw was just them in the backfield the whole game. So, um, I mean, that was a good feeling, uh, just knowing that our defense can play so well against such a good team. Um, but, I mean, we go, we've gone against them for the past couple, you know, well, I've gone against them for the past three years, and, um, you know, I think we continue to say that as an offense. You know, we, we go against them every single day. We've gone against them for the past however many years, and we do good against them. So if we can do good against them, we can do good against any defense in the country, and I think that's what, uh, what we did today. Now, you got pretty excited after that touchdown. Have you had a better feeling in football than finishing that last drive? Um, I have not. That's the best I've ever felt playing the game of football. <laughs> Why? What was that about? The rivalry, the tradition, um, the way we just physically beat Michigan. Um, it just felt good. As a quarterback, how tough is it when there are people in your face all day? That's what Devin had to deal with, and you – didn't have to really deal with that at all because of your offensive line? Um, just watching that, it, it was almost like Devin couldn't even breathe. I don't know, when Kirk was a quarterback, you know, we were, um, you know, run the table then in our defense. Uh, I think that's right when our defense kind of realized, you know, how good they can be and do the stuff that they can do. I know before the Ohio State game in 2011, we won there. Um, Kirk, you know, gave a talk to the whole team saying, you know, I want, I want you guys as a defense um, to not let the, the quarterback for Ohio State breathe because I've had that feeling before, and this is Kirk talking. You know, he's had that feeling, and there's no worse feeling in the game of football than when you just feel like you can't breathe and defense is just on, like just going down your throat the entire game. So um, I think our defense didn't let him breathe, and um, it was just a good feeling seeing how great our defense played. Connor, on the, uh, on, the touch, on the touchdown to Benny, the, on the touchdown to Benny, he had dropped one earlier. Did, did you say anything to the coaches? Or I mean, because it's almost the same play, except it was more of a stop and go on the touchdown. Yeah, I didn't say anything to the coaches. I was just two-minute offense. Did so. you, I mean, but did you want Benny to get another shot just, you know, because he didn't catch the first one? Yeah, um, I didn't I didn't say anything to the coaches saying that we should go back to him, but I knew we were going to go back to him because, you know, everyone has full faith in him, and he's been a leader for us all season long. Um, and he's just, I mean, he's he perseveres. You know, he'll, he'll drop a ball, and he has a short-term memory, too. He'll put that put that aside and, and make a big play the next play down the, uh, down the line. Last one with that. Connor, were you able to share a nice moment there with Andrew at the end, just handing it off? Yeah, I mean Andrew's been great to me. Um, it just felt good to see him go out there and take a knee, you know, as a senior. Thanks, Connor. Appreciate it.